Hello, um, I thought I would do a quick unboxing and demo of a snare that I had delivered today, um, which I've been toying with the idea of buying one for a while, um, but after watching um, a video that Mike Dawson from uh, Modern Drummer did on his YouTube channel um, and some recommendations on Facebook, I thought I'd uh, take the plunge and buy one. They're not terribly expensive. Uh, and I was looking for a workhorse um, snare, so let's unbox. So here we go, delivered today, arrived today from Chris Johnson, Highwood. Thank you very much, Chris. Let's see if we can open this. I suppose really I should have done a Facebook what's in the box, but we're doing this now, so fuck it. Well packed, well secured. Okay. So, here we have a 14 by 5 World Max Black Dog, I think they call it. But to you, I, and everyone else, it's uh, a welded black beauty, essentially. And I know the Ludwig fans are going, oh, it's nothing like a black beauty. But the shell is pretty much the same. I think it's a little bit thinner and it's welded uh, rather than seamless. Um, there's lots of videos on. And discussions on forums about does it make a difference does it not make a difference I think of course it makes a difference but how much difference and you know you go to a studio and you've I had a black beauty for many years um, you go to a studio with your black beauty oh yeah sounds great uh, can you stick some gaff on it can you put some moon gel on it can you put a ring on it very very rarely, and I haven't done a hell of a lot of studio work, but very rarely have I recorded anything um, and not either been asked to put dampening on it or put dampening on it. It comes with a very nice drum key. That must have cost all of 50p, but thank you. Um, right, so this is straight out of the box. I've not done anything with it. Let me grab a, a stick of drumness. <laughs> Lively. with stock heads which looks like a cheapy single ply um, the bottom head as well just looks like a cheap one uh, but I'm quite surprised actually straight out of the box yeah so there you go oh, the price tag on it better take that off before I give it to myself as a present so what I'm gonna do now is um, put it on a kit with the stock heads and the stock tuning or as it came anyway um, and make a little bit more noise and then change the heads there's another snare over there let me turn that off change the heads See what difference it makes. Both fives, nice. Got a nice body for a, for a five. Black dog, fourteen by five, or five by fourteen. If you're of that persuasion, straight through the camera, Mike.
Uh, put a bit of dampening on it. The old snare weight, more of a studio thing, I suppose. So that is straight out of the box, stock heads. I haven't tuned it, haven't done anything. Now what I'm gonna do is put my preferred heads, which is remote controlled sound, and then uh, Aquarian classic clear snare side underneath. And I'll change the wires as well for some Pearl ultrasounds. Okay, so I've changed the heads, changed the snares, um, given it a quick tune. I haven't done anything special. Turn and a half on each uh, lug tension rod on the bottom head and about a turn and a half, turn and three quarters, something like that on the top head. Um, I've, I've, I've kind of evened them out roughly. Um, remote controlled sound on the top and I use an Aquarian classic snare side on the bottom because I find with the Aquarian heads they have a thicker hoop and it keeps the bearing, it keeps when you're really tightening it up on the snare side, the, sometimes the, the hoop can move um, and the head can stretch out so much that you end up with the bearing edge almost the same height, uh, the same level as the top of the hoop. Hope that makes sense. So the hoop on the aquarium heads, because they're thicker, they just ke it just keeps, it just makes the hoop sit higher, the hoop of the drum. So if, I hope that makes sense. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you after when I take the drum off. Um, so yeah, here we go. as would probably more studio Tom ringing out there. Let me um, let me mute the Tom a little bit. Okay guys, so there you go, World Max, uh, 14 by 5 or 5 by 14, um, Black Dog, brass, nickel over pr uh, brass, 10 lugs, um, the hardware is, hardware is really good, um, obviously I've seen better throws, but I mean, it does the job, maybe if the whole spacing is the same, I may swap it out for a Gibraltar one at some point, but it's pretty good, it's pretty solid. There's nothing on this drum that would make me think, uh, well, let's put it this way, it's going straight in my gig bag um, whenever we go back to doing gigs. Um, I think it's awesome, I think it sounds great. Um, and the price point, you know, um, just a bit over 200 quid. Worldmax, what the fuck are you doing? You could be selling this for 300 quid easily. Um, yeah, okay, the heads. That come with it, the stock heads, yeah, they're pretty crap, but I've seen worse. 
I mean, I, I play Mapex, and um, you know, their stock heads are, yeah, we won't go there. Uh, so yeah, there's not much more I can say about it. Um, my recommendation would be crack on, you know, if you're not a badge snob um, and you just want a, a good functional um, nickel over brass snare, this is, I mean, it's awesome. I've changed the heads, obviously I've changed the snare. Oh, it comes with strings to hold the snare on, which I don't like, I've never have done. Um, I don't use straps either, I just use this stuff. It's just ribbon. It's just ribbon that I got bundles and bundles and bundles of it, and I just cut it to length and use it. I find it forms to the, the head a lot better than straps. Um, and I've found strings always to be a bit of a faff. Uh, and I don't play light stuff or jazz, so you know, there tends to be a fair bit of tension on every part of the drum. So not much more I can say about that. Um, yeah, go out and buy one. Big shout out to Chris Johnson at Tywood um, for for um, sorting me out uh, with this one. Um, you know, support your support your music shops. Support the guys that are out there day to day doing it. Try and avoid buying from the big mega stores. You know, your Amazons or, or wherever, whatever it might be. Sometimes there are cracking deals that you you can't turn away. But I could have got this drum 10, maybe 20 quid cheaper. Um, but, you know, I've dealt with Chris before and it's a no brainer for me. If these guys go out of business, if we don't support them, then all we're left with is the Amazons, is the big, you know, superstores online, which is all well and good. It's like flying Ryanair. It's all well and good when you're in the seat. Something goes wrong. Yeah, if you need a bit of support, you ain't going to get it from places like Amazon. So. Try and support your local dealer um, or your local online dealer uh, as much as you can. Um, big shout out to Roy at Wembley. Saw his niggas head this, this uh, some of the bits out a little while ago. Um, so I've been holding them, haven't used them. So that's it. Support your local dealers. Support Highwood Drums. Support Wembley Music Centre. Foots in London for me as well. And uh, anyone else, um, anyone else out there? Who uh, gives you a good service? It's worth it in the end. You might, you, you know, is, is, is it really worth going to uh, a big wholesaler for the sake of 15, 10, 15 quid um, on, on, on a drum at this price? Then, no, of course it was. Oh, Graham Russell as well. Um, big shout out to Graham Russell. He's, he's, he's always sorted me out in the past. Well, not him, but his shop. Um, that's it. I've got nothing more to say. I've gone on long enough. So, take care. Like this.